Back up. Who's reading it? Who's reading it? Who's reading Raise it? Raise your hands if you're reading it. Because legally, you're all supposed to be right. supplied a P&L for know? every meeting. People keep saying, Jeremy, you got to be careful of them backwoods boys down in Florida. Well, I'm back in my woods. I'm down in Florida. But I ain't no boy. It's time for these individuals to man up. We ain't playing games no more. It's my personal opinion that Russ the Sus, Russell Meeks Sr., he's a boy. He's a coward, in my personal opinion. Every time there's been an issue, who shows up? Mary's there. He even sends Richard there. But what's he scared of? He's scared of the camera. Here's what really boggles and blows my mind. Does any, anyone in Otter Creek actually think that Russell Meeks Sr. is going to be there to bail them out or to help them? No, 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 no. Russ the Sus is going to throw you under the bus. It's exactly what he has been doing. It's what he's going to continue to do. His own daughter, his own daughter, Charlene, Oh my goodness. Works for the state, at least currently. Sets a message out on Facebook, which is on display for the public. Allow me to share this. You know, I, I have warned these individuals for over three years now. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. You get a choice every morning when you make wake up. Are you going to do the right thing or the wrong thing? And then individuals go ahead and post things that are on public display. And by the way, I don't have to go looking for it. Your friends, who you think are your friends, your friends, all of you individuals, send me everything you say and do. Can you imagine if Charlene was back in high school and she would have made a, a, a post stating, oh man, uh, I guess you guys aren't going to get to see me on Levy County mug shots tonight because I didn't go into school and do what I was gonna gonna do. Oh my goodness, they would have arrested her. They would have shut down the entire school. This is no different. His daughter, Russ the Suss's daughter, in a Facebook public post, which she has hence now deleted, but that information lasts forever. Listen, if you're out there and you're being a fool of yourself, I'm going to say this again. I've said it over and over and over and over again to every single one of these individuals. The smartest thing you can do is shut your mouth and stay out of it because it exists forever now. The screenshots are there. The screen recordings are there. The video is there. It exists forever, ever. It doesn't go away by hitting delete. And what do you do? Incriminate yourself even further and your family. I cannot begin to understand the foolishness that goes through the minds of these people. Yeah, you have a freedom of speech. And that's, that's what most of these people are going to say. Well, I have a freedom of speech to share my opinion. You do. And that freedom of speech comes with consequences. That freedom of speech comes with massive consequences. When you start to make specific allegations and threats, when you start to say things that are completely and totally false and untrue, that comes with heavy, heavy, heavy consequences. And maybe you should think through the reality that the vast majority of people are tired of it, are tired of the tyranny, are tired of the complete and total corruption, tired of the backhand deals, tired of this is the good old boy system down in the South. The South is no different than the North than it is from the East, from the West. Listen, people are people. People have always been people and our people I don't care if your gender is male or female. I don't care the color of your skin. I don't care your age. I have no care of those things. What I care about is what's inside and what's in your heart. And people are people. They need love and acceptance. They need community. A community that doesn't take from them, but a community that continues to grow with them. Do I hear a motion that we approve the minutes? Sure. I'll second it. Motion made second is to approve the minutes. Everybody in favor? Aye. Uh, do I hear a motion that we pay the bills? I'll make a motion that we pay the bills. And I'll second it. 
Motion is made and seconded to pay the bills. Everybody in favor? Aye. Motion to approve the bills. How in the world can you make a motion to approve the bills and first and second it if you don't know what the bills are? Right now you're going, Jeremy, come on, we've seen this town council meeting before. No, you haven't. And this isn't the town council meeting where the new mayors voted. This is a previous town council meeting that I haven't shared with you before. But I want to share with you specifically so you can see the absolute insanity of this place. Yeah, believe it or not, it's real. I'm not in favor you know, just because it's so confusing that I, I can't make heads or tails with the limited, with limited uh, financial reports. I, 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 I can't make a decision. There's not enough information here for me to, for me to, to, to say that. Mr. Raymond has decided to So he opposes every time, you know, like the last meeting too. Um, but I understand, is can we get it different or not since, you know what I mean? He's not I, even understanding. I discussed this with the mayor, I've discussed oh, hey. with There's four more court. people here that don't have a problem with it. Well, that's I'm because not they're saying. not doing their job, that's why. Right on, Don. They are not doing their job. And as Russell says, there's four other people in here that have no problem with it. No, there's an entire community there, an entire community there that has a problem with it. This is how embezzlement happens. What are your responsibilities? We must, we must pay the bills. Uh, <laughs> bills are nothing more than what they have been. I'm talking about the might be something special, Dan. You don't know. You want, sorry? I'm, I'm talking about the financial report. How, how can you yeah. justify that? Now, if, if well, you're doing your job, can you can't. If you read this, you can't you make heads or tails. Well, like a check. It's, it's really a simple. It's our electric reporting in progress. Had, and this is what we got left over. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. been yeah. fine for it's been fine for years, for 20 years. And then now then it's just kind of degraded to a situation where the information we're not getting the information. Anybody want to guess who's in charge of putting all the financial records together? Yeah, that would be Mary DeGroote. Mary Mary. Financial records are now scary. Maybe she could call the local sheriff to help her with those. Can we get it back like we used to have it? I, I, or, I, I, Mary, I, that's what we used to have. Know how it Listen, used to I've be. given her de yeah. details I, on I that. copied the yep. same reports mm -hmm. that been that been doing for one. years. Mm -hmm. In yeah. fact, it'll probably have one of them actually had 17 and 18 on the bottom of it because I pulled the report from from then. But what is this, Mary? It's a blank. There's, there's not one. There's not one figure there. There's, where are the check numbers and the amounts of the checks? They're not here. All we have is things that lump some together. We can't tell. You know, it's like a one big number and there's like 20. Different accounts there, and we just can't make heads or tails of it. It's not clear. Now we've discussed this before, and I don't, and I don't know why the attorney hasn't said anything about it. You know, he hears me yeah. complain every month about it, but uh, not, it, it's not even improved. I hate to say it, but that's the way it is. Well, we'll sit with the big situation on this, you know. But look, four more people on this council read it and understand it and don't have a problem with it. I don't think they're so, reading it. I'll try to get you what you want. Back up. Who's reading it? Who's reading it? Who's reading it? Raise your hands if you're reading it. Because legally, you're all supposed to be right. supplied a P&L for don't, every meeting. I'm going to ask you to leave. If you get and you're going to bring the police to remove me, Russell. You're, gonna you're going to bring the police to remove me. So if you do it, bring it. I can do that. Legally, you're to provide a P&L to this council. At a minimum four times a year. Where's the PL? You're out of order, sir. Just calm down. You want to call participant of the town out of order, but you're the mayor. Are you uh, in order, not providing a PL? I thought you were in order. Russell says there's four other people there that have read it and understand it. Don says it's filled with blank pages. Jeremy Hale says you're doing illegal activities. No. 
I ain't down with this. I wanna know where all the overcharges, all of my money for all of the water that I didn't use is going. Transparency. You all need to be reading it. You uh, all need to know the P&L. You need to know where the money goes. That's accountability. That's why it's illegal accountability. An orderly town council. Kind of feels like Groundhog Day. Round and round and round. Same conversations. Never any information. Okay, let's do this. Let's jump back to present day right now. Got some things I want to share with you. Uh, not only that, in just a little bit, I've got an interview with Channel 20 out in Florida. They're trying to pick up this entire story as well. I got to do an interview with them. They've been trying to call Russell. They've been trying to call Town Hall. You think they got any answers? So what's Town Hall's response to all of this? Well, just like it's always been, incriminate themselves even further. You've heard me say it. Every time they open their mouth, every time they do an action, they incriminate themselves further. And I will see it through to hold them all accountable to what they have done and what they have said. So Town Hall's response? Well, let's see. Tuesday they closed. Wednesday they closed. Thursday they closed. And then shortly after I gave up waiting for somebody to open... Once the coast was clear, this showed up on the door. <laughs> you think they'll allow me to make an appointment instead of just sitting out here in the woods? Let's call, let's find out. I seriously doubt it, but we'll see. I mean, they say they don't have caller ID. Let's find out if they see Jeremy Hales coming up. Something tells me they might. It's appointment only now. Apparently you don't have to open town hall. I'd like to know if all three of these town hall clerks are getting paid. This is... Hello? You've reached Top Street Town Hall. Hmm. I'm available to take your call at the moment. Okay. However, your call is very important to us. Okay. So if you could leave your name, number, brief message, and best time to reach you, we'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks. This is Jeremy Hales. I'd like to schedule a meeting with the town hall representatives, whether that's the mayor, the clerk, the other clerk, the other clerk, all of the council members uh, that could also be your lawyer involved as well. Uh, I'd like to have a scheduled time and meeting and uh, would like to hear back from you within 24 hours. Thank you very much. You have my contact information, all of it. So, you think I'll actually hear anything? Well, I can tell you this. Other residents of the town have heard nothing. They've tried to set up meetings, and they've heard nothing. Hmm. Hmm. An entire town shut down because one person owns a cell phone and starts to show what's really happening and going on. Well... Some of you may be thinking, Jeremy, why don't you just run for mayor? Jeremy, you must want to be mayor. No, I have no desire whatsoever to be mayor. I want to make that so ridiculously clear. My only goal in moving to Florida was to have peace and respite. And as I arrived, I started to get taken advantage of. And as I arrived, I saw wrongdoings, not just to me, but to all the citizens. What I want is things to be corrected and right. That's what I want, but not just for me, for the entire town. So, for example, they've got one suit right now with records requests. There will be another water, there will be, there's, going to be, there's going to be a water bill suit. You know that already. Absolutely. I'm going back for all of my water bills, but I'm also pushing that every single resident, even the ones that say false things about me that are getting sued as well, which there are. And there's an individual in Bronson that's going to have lawsuit brought against them as well. Remember, there are consequences for the things you say. Even those individuals, I want them to get a refund on their bill because the town took advantage of them. I want the town to put in check valves for everybody because they should have been there in the first place. I want things to be right. That's it. And then I want to be left alone to be in my woods. That's it. I want to live peacefully in my woods. That's it. So people can go, oh, man, he's a backwoods boy. No, 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 no. We're dealing with this like a man, okay? A backwoods man. We're going to correct it. We're going to fix it. We're going to see it through so that everybody, 
everybody is not being taken advantage of and everybody in the town is no longer thinks they are above the law. You know, I've heard this over and over and over again. These people down here think they're above the law. They've done it this way. We've always done it this way. You got Richard saying, it's not against the law because the council and the mayor said it. Oh my goodness, if this man understood law, if any of them understood, just because you've done it that way doesn't make it right. Just because it's always been done that way doesn't make it right. Just because nobody ever called you out on it doesn't make it right. Just because nobody in the area ever had the funds to sue you and take you to court to correct it doesn't make it right. I want nothing to do with the mayor position. What I want is a position of peace in my woods. That's it. That's all I want. That's all I ever wanted. And I want to do things to help people. You've seen us help people around the world, literally around the world. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars have been gifted to help people around the world. And it boggles my mind. It absolutely boggles my mind that we would come into a town of a hundred that's depressed. We would come into a town of a hundred that's economically hurting and them not see the opportunity and going, oh my goodness, he could help us. He helps people. Instead, what they do is try and steal from me. And I don't care if you steal $100,000, $10,000, $1,000, or $1 from me. I will not tolerate it. But I will have hope. Hope in the day where that's all gone. Where that's all done. To where we actually have peace back here out in the woods. You voted at the last meeting to accept fans bid for moving the air conditioner. I have called them. They have got us on their list. Uh, as soon as they're available, they're going to let us know and they'll come and take care of moving the AC. For those that may not have seen all my videos and may not be paying attention, or maybe you're just a normal person, so this thought would never, ever occur to you. This air conditioner is sitting in the septic field, in the bed, the septic bed. Yeah, they mix their AC with their doo-doo. The supervisor of elections is going to be doing a voter registration here on March 1st from like 10 to noon or 10 to 2. We shall see. Um, and the books for the election, they close on March the 6th. So you must be registered in order for you to vote in our election. And we have a wide range of candidates. Candidates that legally were voted in, but yet they still have not been sworn in because a mayor who I believe illegally canceled a meeting and who I believe is currently still illegally acting as mayor. How can you act as mayor if your term is already up, right? The date has already passed. You can't continue to act as mayor. The people of Otter Creek want positive growth and change. We got the, we got the pneumatic tank fixed and the fourth turned into the DEP. We got them happy. We got a good tank that should last us another 30 years. Um, so we won't have to buy another one when, when they do the, the new water grant. The pumps finally come for the transfer pumps over there. We're working on getting the filter hooked up. I'm hoping it's going to be next week. Keep in mind, all this work they're talking about on the water system, when they did this, that's when I got astronomical amounts of water bills. 17,700 gallons. How in the world? No leak ever found. Went above and beyond to actually take my plumbing above and beyond to prove it wasn't me. These people boggles my mind. You know what else boggles my mind? Um, we haven't shared this yet, but um, here it goes. Mary's niece is married to Russell's son. Now, in most places, that may be considered nepotism, and that's a no-no because there could be some type of family tie there. Let me say it again. Mary's niece is married to Russell's son. 
Nepotism is when family members are in the same area together and they may not have accountability. So for example, if you and your brother and your mother and your mom and your dad and everybody else are all in charge of one thing and you go, hey, I got an idea how we can steal money. You may not turn them in. You may go along with it. There's pressure. That's family. Well, that's why you don't allow ties, family ties, in business or in government. <sighs> blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Should these two even be serving in the same office together? Oh, no business. Oh, yeah. I, I know this, there was a, an invoice for the, uh, the Powell and Jones for the, mm -hmm. the uh, audit. Yeah, that's for the 2021 audit, and we're getting ready to go in for the 2022. I already did an entire video on this audit that showed a few different things. Number one, very, very poor record keeping. Number two, the town is in a financial crisis. We are on the verge of a financial emergency. Number three, the council members don't know. It's all being hidden from them. Okay. Why did we just get an invoice for, for a, an audit a year ago? Because it wasn't a year ago. It was it was late going in, and um, they've been working on it. Are they finished with it, or are they still working on um, it? They're, they're waiting to um, present it, but it is finished um, and turned into a uh, financial department of revenue. So Mr. Powell is going to come here and give us a rundown? They usually do, yeah. Yeah, so well, when they, when we, we expect that in the next... Probably the next meeting, unless we have a meeting in between, okay. um, that he could, could mm -hmm. do it. Um, okay. Not an emergency meeting, because then it's going to be <laughs> Because with these grants that we're involved right. with, the grants we've gotten. Yeah, yeah the full audit we have to is do required. Full audit, yeah. yes. Every three years. And okay. Every so. couple of years. Every well, year. the, the big one is. <laughs> is every three years. Um, we didn't have to have one up before 21 because we hadn't gone, we hadn't spent more than $250,000. Um, and and that, then the grant came in. Okay. Yeah. You know, that grant started in 2016 and we got the money in 2021. So that gives you an idea of this one. Oh, that's the other thing The the, CDBG grant that we've been approved for, um, for the for the water, I've got to put out the the ads, the request for proposals and the request for qualifications for an engineering firm and an administrator for the grant, um, and then we have to notify every minority and woman-owned business in the area. Mm -hmm. And there's three pages of fine print names and addresses that I, I've got, just got, that each one's going to have to have an email of the ad once the ads are... Yeah, but, but how many people is that entail? How many businesses are owned? Hundreds. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. In, in, Creek? Not in Otter Creek. Our our area it has to be open for any minority business that's in a reasonable distance. So we and just I, have and to do the ads in a reasonable manner that everyone is capable. Everybody, everybody that would be able to participate. Yep. Okay. Hmm. George didn't get any type of email whatsoever, and she's a woman and a minority. So is Fox <laughs> going to be our, is Fred Fox going to be the administrator for? We don't know. You got to be bid out? We have to bid it. Well, okay, good luck on that. Mm. Meaning there's only a few people that do it. Do there, are, there are more people that want to do it. He has. Well, it's so. very profitable. Yeah. I'll have you read the documents when necessary. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Uh, Whoa! Mind blown! The lawyer is actually there and listening. Not protecting them from any liability whatsoever, but he is there listening at one point in time. He's never physically been to an actual meeting. I got a feeling he's going to be at the next one. Well, I was also curious about the policy on paying absentee councilmen. Senator Charter, yeah. uh, if, they miss, if you miss one meeting, you get paid. If you miss, the, uh, you get paid for missing one meeting. After that, you don't get paid for if you miss one. Okay. All right, so everyone really understands that policy. And after the third, pardon? After the third absence, aren't you uh, removed? No. Right. It says that in the. It says that in the charter, but the only person that can remove somebody from the elected office is the governor. It does say that, but. Wow. That's what we them. did in a previous term. We did have somebody miss more than yes. three meetings. Yes. Wonder who's all getting paid this time around since the mayor went above his pay grade because his term has expired and he canceled under emergency the town hall meeting where we're supposed to have new council members sworn in and a new mayor. Who's getting paid? I think I know. It's probably all in his pocket. I'm going to do my best to find out. Why is here in town council salary this month is 525 the total? What's, I, I don't understand. You have, okay. that's you, missed, and you, you have a member that's missed two consecutive meetings. The question is, did he get paid? Two consecutive meetings? Yes. In a row? Yes. Ooh. And slept on the first one. You're not following what's going on. I don't know why. Who yeah. missed two meetings? Dan's been on board for four months. He's missed two meetings. He had missed the second one last month. So, but, but oh, apparently yeah. there's a check written for him but for that number to be 525. So how does that work? Favoritism? That's I don't know. That's why there needs to be transparency with these minutes. They need to Who be provided. I think he has missed the one meeting. He missed two. Yeah, he missed he missed two. I've missed two, missed two meetings. Missed one, one, one I had a pair with him, and I fell asleep. Okay. Uh, that's, that's what you need to so he doesn't get paid tonight. Well, but how come he is, though? There's already a check for him. Because the checks are cut before the meeting. Could have been voided. But that, that has not... That's he, not, he would have got so paid what? if he, he didn't say anything. He wasn't deserving of it. Why should it have been cut then? Right. I don't I don't know. Know. Anybody yeah. can make a mistake once in a while. I can accept people making mistakes. I've made plenty okay. of myself. Well, a mistake was made... It will be fixed by voiding the check. Okay. Do I hear a motion? And then how we're going to reconcile the, the county part. I'm sure there's, there's methods. So, in other words, it's going to get a little. So, it says sticky. if you miss one meeting, you get paid, right? Yeah. If you miss two, from whatever time, say if you miss one, then maybe a couple weeks later you miss another one, you don't get paid for that second one that you missed, right? You don't get paid for that one. And then if you miss a third one or whatever, you know, because you're in for two years, so you get paid for one missing well, meeting. Not me. Any other meetings that are missed, then you don't get paid for, correct? Right. That's that's the way it reads, yes. And that would stand and a reason then that anybody that would stand a reason then that anybody that did get paid for those meetings that were missed, if he did get paid or she got paid, that that money would be owed back to Otter Creek. Is that correct? That's correct. Right. And so when is it you plan on paying Otter Creek back? Gone. Well, they're that doing it by garnishing this check. Let me see. He's Pardon me? Something else. Yeah. They're doing that by garnishing well, this check. he's talking something about else. another situation. But oh, indeed, another situation. Indeed, that would, uh, right, right, right. would square away the uh, check I got uh, from my previous? last absence. And if uh, we take this check, is that would that be uh, acceptable to everybody? I don't know. Anything. And maybe keep a little closer eye on the, when the check is well, Who's responsible for that? Individual us, we say. Well, uh, I had no idea. One. I thought I thought it was a different rule. Uh, I thought it was a third. 
<coughs> that you didn't get that. You thought because I was remembering from Zim when Zim uh, yeah. Well, yeah, he here. was accidentally paid too. <laughs> yeah, Zim was accidentally paid. You don't need to read the ordinances if you're on the board. They're not a hard read. Most of it is garbage, but there's some stuff that's important. Most do of I it's hear, in the first chapter. Do I hear a motion we adjourn? We've meeting? read them. He's yeah. read them. Yeah. She's I'll read them. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Typical Russell Meeks. Somebody actually says something that he doesn't like, goes against him. He doesn't hear it. He just motions to adjourn. I hear motion to adjourn. I am. You're not getting away with this anymore. Russell, didn't anybody warn you? Don't mess with them backwoods men.